Aries, you guys have come to a place where you are at a fork in a road. Do you go left? Do you go right? One path could lead towards abundance. The other path could lead to total destruction. And rather than this being a time where you sit and allow the chaos to take over you and you become upset, this is a time where you want to rely on the universe and put on your thinking cap and figure out, okay, what's going to lead me to my Ten of Cups? What's going to lead me to happiness? And you are more than prepared for this, okay? You, you, you are more than prepared for this. In fact, your soul knew that this moment was coming. So rather than allow this moment to take you away and send you somewhere else, let's make sure we're making the right decision. What's going on, y'all? It's Scott Santana, aka Cha 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 Chi Chi, and we are back for another reading. Child, I thought we were doing a commentary, but y'all, I got, I got so confused real quick. I got so confused, but yes, we are back for another reading. This is for my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, okay? Again, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I know the girl's probably mad because they like, uh, Aries get another reading. I just got one last week. Listen, listen, I can't. I It's the way that God works, okay? And then we also have a full moon that is coming up this week. We have a full moon that's coming up on Friday. So, you know, that probably adds to your overall message and why uh, I probably felt like I needed to, you know, give you guys a new message for this week. But like I said, the general message is fork in the road, right? Now, this is about making a decision. This is considering the consequences as you prepare to act, owning up to your obligation to make a necessary choice because every choice has a consequence. You've arrived at a fork in the road and being asked to come to a decision. Now, will you further your dreams in choosing left or by choosing right? Will you take the road less travel or the one well worn by others who have come before you? This is your choice and yours alone to make. Circumstances and other people will not make it for you. So you got to be present and do not avoid making this decision because it is an important crossroad. Okay. Take heart as no matter which path you choose, you will have a rich and meaningful experience. Okay. So my Aries, again, sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. It depends on where Aries honestly is in your chart. Um, I mean, well, yes and no. Yes and no. I'll, I'll say, okay, because this can relate to you as just being an Aries sun, moon, rising on Venus, or this can relate to, you know, an Aries part of your chart being that we do have a full moon of Aries going on this week, right? So, like, let's say, like, if you're an Aries rising, obviously that's in your first house, and so there's some sort of important decision that needs to be made, you know, in regards to your identity and in terms of your ego, in terms of your outward expression, you know, an important decision for you. Let's say you are Aries Venus, but it's in your third house, like myself. It can be something dealing with communication. It can be something dealing with neighbors. It can be something dealing with your local community. You know, maybe there's a choice that needs to be made there, you know, so on and so forth. Okay, definitely go ahead and book a reading, thealigningsouls.com. Everything is on screen. It is 50% off until Sunday. I did go ahead and extend it since, you know. Last week, I was barely doing readings. I did go ahead and extend it. So make sure that you utilize that code, okay, the 50% off until the end of the month, all right? Now, let's go ahead and get into the reading. So the current situation is financial and material changes, right? So your whole physical everything is changing. Like this is, this could be, you know, people, places, things that are changing. This could be friendships that are changing. This could be you switching jobs. This could be you moving to a new location. Or this could just be you in the physical plane, the physical 3D world that is changing. But it's definitely dealing with um, financial and material um, changes. So, you know, whether it's your actual wealth or whether it's the money that you gain, you know, things are up in the air right now, up in the air, right? And you might be recovering from a financial loss. Um, this could even be spiritual poverty, maybe that you have been in. Like, it's just like a place of lack, right? It's a place of lack. And it's the universe trying to come in and say, hey, like, we need you to get inspired again. Like, we need you to recognize that it's time to create the life that you want. 
right? It's time to take your power back. But it, it might, again, it might be that, you know, a situation has come in where you've lost your job, you've lost um, certain friends, whatever it is that you've lost, it's almost as though like you've lost your mojo as well. And the universe is saying to you like, hey, like find your power, find your ability to get back up and like keep going and like push towards, you know, a new beginning, like whatever you lost. Okay, you lost, but fuck it, girl. Like, let's, let's move on now. Let's, let's move on. Right. And that's what you're struggling to deal with right now, because the challenge of the situation is the transformation. It's like, OK, like you're more so stuck thinking about the problem rather than thinking about the solution or why it happened. It happened. It is what it is. Let it the fuck up. You're going to cry over spoiled milk forever. Like, don't get me wrong. Shit happens and we, we, we get upset and that's cool. But like, girl, if it happened two weeks ago, it happened two weeks ago. Let it the fuck go. Let's move on. Let the fuck up and let's move on. And that seems to be the problem right now. That's the challenge of the situation. It's like, you need to come clean with yourself. You need to acknowledge the fact that like, okay, like I'm steady stuck on something like it's a broken record. And it's not that you're not allowed to feel or that your feelings are invalid. It's just that you have to rethink your approach to the situation. Like understand everything is happening for you, not to you. Life happens for you, not to you. So when things come in and it feels like a tornado just fucked up your entire world, baby, it's only so that you can plant on fresh soil, right? You know what I mean? Like, it's like, I've been working on this garden, da -da 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 -da, you know, like, I, I feel like I've been working on this garden for years. And little do you know, there's like snakes and shit running through it. And then like a hurricane comes and fucks up the garden. And you're more mad, not understanding, yeah, there were snakes and shit in your garden, and it was eating up all your fruits and vegetables. But now the hurricane is coming, now there's fresh soil that's been planted, and it's like, now you can start on better ground, right? Allow this to transform you. Stop fighting against the current of life, right? Think of it like a river. When you throw something in the river, or just think about the way that water flows. Like, water has no choice but to flow. It cannot go against chat i'm trying to think of something cute and creative to say but y'all understand what i'm saying y'all understand what i'm saying y'all know y'all have seen bodies of waters where you know like it's it's not gonna jump over it it's not gonna go past it it's it's gonna flow through it it's gonna flow with it you know what i mean like that's how you have to be you have to be like a body of water that is ever ever flowing just like it okay and so the guidance of the situation right now okay where you're being guided is more towards your awareness. It's towards your intuition. It's towards, you know, a place of being able to follow your heart, but more so like just following that feminine energy within you. It's like return to being soft because, you know, whatever situation has happened, it's come in, it's, it's made you cold, it's made you reserved, it's made you hardened, and it's almost made you like, like you have a stick up your ass. And spirit is saying, hey, listen, let's get back to you. Let's open up your heart a little bit. Let's open up your intuition a little bit. Let's like get back to like being like soft, fun, loving, like you like in a place where you're able to receive and know that what you're receiving is for you and good for you. Like, let's get out of this place of like everything that happens to me is bad for me. And I, 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 oh, what was me? Like, fuck all of that. Fuck all of that. And so what you need to be focused on right now is your shadow work. You need to be focused on getting your shit together. Okay. Because, okay. Again, now what was me shit? Girl, cut it out. Cut it out. Cut it out. Cut it out. It happened. What the fuck you going to do now? What the fuck you going to do now? It happened. It happened. So you got to literally sit yourself down in a corner and be like, listen, it happened. What did I learn from this situation? What can I gain from this situation? It's not that life happened to me, but it happened for me. What gifts did it bring in? Okay. Because yeah, I lost a couple of friends, but guess what? I learned how to have boundaries. I now learn, you know, what type of friend I can be to others. I now learn what type of friend I'm looking for. Okay. Yeah. That relationship didn't work, but now I know what type of girlfriend I could be. Now I know, you know, what type of relationship I want. Now I know, hell, I'm not even ready for relationship you know what did it bring you right also too aside from what it brought you where did issues come up from like was it that i was truly mad at these people or did they play on insecurities and triggers and traumas that i that i've had since childhood that i realized i never actually dealt with or that i realized like i still needed healing in right it's about being honest within yourself you know what i mean and like realizing like things can't get worse because right now it fucking sucks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, it, it fucking sucks, right? And so this is like about figuring out like, why am I resisting this inevitable end, right? And so the outcome of the situation, right? The outcome of the situation, 
it's almost like too much intuition. It, it's like stop thinking so into it, right? Stop thinking, stop thinking so much into everything. Like in, being intuitive is very great, but like sometimes it's like you can be too intuitive, you can be too in tune, you can think too much about something. You know what I mean? Like it, and it's like. Detach yourself, okay? Detach yourself. I almost want to say that. And for some of you guys, for a small group of you guys, this is more so about, like, financial material changes because you're done with the healing phase. Like, you are done with the healing phase. Detach yourself. Like, never, not that you ever want to detach yourself from spirit in the universe, but it's like, girl, get from outside and go back outside. I mean, get, get from inside and go back outside. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you've already done the work. You've already done the work, okay? Like, now, now, let's go. Like, you don't you don't need no more therapy. At least not right now. Not saying you 100% healed, but like, you you as healed as it's ever going to be. Detach yourself from spirit and get the fuck back out there. The fuck? And that's literally the crossroads that y'all are at right now. It's like, you're going to keep soaking, or you're going to get your ass back out there. Because life is happening <laughs> whether whether or not you out there. Just, just throwing it to you. Life is happening whether or not you out there, okay? And so the advice card that we have from Spirit is unlikely. Okay? The advice card that we have from Spirit is unlikely. Okay, and I feel like that more so points to, you know, some of you guys might be asking, well, what if I get hurt again? What if I what if I go through the same thing? It's unlikely, bitch, because you already know went through the bad shit. Okay, you already know went through the storm. Okay, but the situation you have asked about is unlikely to occur as you are imagining it. <laughs> there may be a different version of events that will take place, or it may be that what you've asked about is simply not in your highest, greatest good. Place your focus on an alternative possibility and open your eyes to different opportunities. Be willing to experience a unique and more uplifting outcome than what you had planned for yourself. And that is all that I have for, for y'all, Aries. I'm not about to sit around and do this shit with y'all. Like, girl, if you don't get your ass up and go book a fucking reading, especially while it's half off and it's been half off the last week and it's going to be half off until October, girl, y'all sitting here soaking around what was me and shit and I got 50% off readings where you can help yourself get better. You can help yourself figure out what the fuck is going on, okay? We, we're not doing no victim shit over here, baby. It's blessings that's supposed to be coming in, Okay? So go ahead to my website, thealinasos.com, to book your reading while it's 50% off, okay? And, yeah, let's go ahead and get into her, okay? Figure out who you are, where you are, where you come from, all of that good things, and what else is coming in for you. And I love each and every one of y'all, and I will see y'all in the next one. Tell me what you want.